What's up, YouTube? My name is Jared Cavley, president and founder of Pristine Auction. This is the next episode of Cavley's Packs. We are opening vintage sports cards, showing you what we get out of the sealed boxes, and then our plan is to send them away for grading. Uh, and then once they come back, we're gonna follow up with a video to show you how those cards graded right out of the pack, and really ultimately whether we made money or lost money on the pack. So today, we're opening 1996-97 Fleer Ultra Basketball. All right, so we're at 1996-97 Ultra Basketball. This is factory sealed. You can tell it's got the logo, the company logos on it, just to make sure that it is uh, the original seal as it was when it came from the factory. So that way you know it hasn't been tampered with. Um, this is Kobe Bryant's rookie year, so that's really what we're looking for. This is kind of a Kobe or bust type of opening right now. Um, so hopefully we do well. But if we hit a Kobe, odds are a pretty good grade. If it grades a nine, we're at about $225 value. If it grades a 10, we're at like 2,500 value. Tens right out of the pack are actually really hard to get. But there's some other inserts and stuff in here too that should be kind of fun. Um, so let's open and see what we get. This one throws me back, man. This is like my sweet spot of my card opening days. All right, there she is in all her glory. Jerry Stackhouse on the front. You remember Jerry Stackhouse? Jordan, you're killing me. Right off the bat, I see Lakers on the back. I thought it might have been a Kobe. Oh, these are sticking together. Uh-oh. It's not going to help us at all. All right, here we got an all-rookie. So not Kobe, but this is a little subset that we'd be looking for if we uh, could catch a Kobe. That'd be money. Gold medallion edition. So this one has got a... This is a retail version. So I guess it's got a bunch of little extra subset type of uh, insert sets. This is gold medallion. Another Jerome Williams. That's not in great shape either. A lot of these are sticking together. Here's a Ray Allen rookie. Um, again, that one's got some surface issues. That might be, if that was gonna catch possibly a 10, that might be worth sending in. I'll put that aside, but um, I don't know that that's gonna be worth it. Here's a Jordan. It's kind of cool. This is, looks like an insert, but I think it's part of the regular set. It's called Step It Up. It's a whole lot of action though for the first pack. But look at the bottom edge of that. That's right out of the pack like that. I don't think that's getting us anything. Wowzers, it's worse than the gum. I don't know what causes that, if it's like storage over the years or what. It's not gonna be our friend, unless we get something towards the middle or the back of the pack. If we get a Kobe there, we'll be in good shape, but. Rookie Sharif Abdul-Rahim. This is actually a really good rookie class. Sharif Abdul-Rahim could play. Not something we'll send in, but. So the back of the pack is okay. If we catch something on the back of the pack, we'll be all right. The front of the pack is a complete disaster. I don't know, maybe as we go down in the box, it won't be as bad. All rookie of Derek Fisher. Really is a good rookie class. Mookie Blaylock, give and take. It's kind of a cool insert. You know that name? I like when Jordan knows these guys. It makes me feel a little less old. Oh, it's Kobe. Do you hear that? Oh, yes, it's a good one too. Kobe gold medallion rookie and it's just hammered. Brutal. I don't even know if I could send that away. But that's a good card. It's a gold medallion one too. It's a, it's a variation insert. Oh, it hurts my heart. It's just destroyed. Could have been the next one, Marcus Camby. That one's in good shape. Why, Fleer? Why do you do that to me? I wonder what that card's worth. That could be worth a lot. Oh, it hurts. There's just no saving it. There's nothing I can do. It's like already, they're already destroyed. Ooh, Steve Nash rookie. That's another one from that era. Speaking of Steve Nash, that one's in decent shape too. I don't know if it's worth sending in, but I'll look that one up. Michael Jordan insert. It's got some condition issues too, but this one's called Board Game. I have to look that one up. I don't know how tough it is. But Jordan inserts from this era have some collectability now. They felt like junk cards for a while, but I think now that the card, cards are sort of revitalizing a little bit, some of those, some of those uh, inserts are coming back and being really, are really desirable now. All right, we're down to six packs. Oh, another Kobe. Man, another Kobe. We got condition issues on this one too. Not as bad, but I don't think that's gonna work. So we're getting them at least, but this box at some point, I don't think was stored properly and it's destroying us with the condition. If that wasn't the case, we'd be in really good shape. Anthony Hardaway, man. Remember him, Penny Hardaway? No, he's not related to Tim Hardaway. <laughs> oh, he was he was one of my favorite players, actually. I always, I always told myself I wanted to play. He played at uh, Memphis, and I wanted to play at Memphis because of Anthony Hardaway. I did not play at Memphis. 
He was good. He was fun to watch. Him and uh, Shaq played on the Orlando Magic back in the day when they were they were really good. Two to go. My hopes are dwindling to get a Kobe in good condition. Last pack. Oh, there we go. Kobe Bryant, all rookie insert. But I'm about to peel it away from the card behind it and it's gonna hurt really bad. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Oh, it hurts. Man, it's such a good box if we didn't have those issues. All right, well, there you go. That was 1996-97 Fleer Ultra. Obviously pretty disappointing. We really hit the cards we wanted, but the condition was uh, was an issue. And uh, I think, you know, that's something to watch out for. I think that was just the way this was stored. I don't know exactly what causes that, but over time, some of these glossy cards start to stick together really bad. So, again, you win some, you lose some. I think we lost on that one. I really don't think, based off the condition issues, I don't think any of those cards, unfortunately, are worth sending away for grading. So that's that. But stay tuned for another episode of Cavalry Packs. We got a lot more vintage cards uh, ready to come at you that we'll start opening. And uh, if you haven't caught our past episodes, make sure to watch those. Um, we've opened some other vintage cards where we've gotten some really good scores out of those that we're gonna send away for grading. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel, hit the, hit the bell so you get notifications and uh, watch out for our videos. Not only are we doing these uh, box opening videos, we've got a lot of other series that we're putting up on YouTube that uh, hopefully add some value and that will be interesting to you. So make sure to watch those and we'll see you soon for a next another episode of Cavalry's Packs. Thanks guys.